Now at 430 Halloween is just days away and the spooky holiday is expected to make a big bounce back this year after plans were paused, obviously because of the pandemic. But there are some important things parents should keep in mind before the kiddos head out to trick or treat. And joining me now to talk more about this, Dr. Sophia Penley, an assistant clinical professor at Sacred Heart University. Dr. Penley, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, Erin. So the reality is that kids under 12, many of them will be out collecting candy. They're probably not vaccinated yet, or they are not vaccinated. And even if they're over 12, they might not be. Should they be wearing masks as they go door to door and are trick or treating this year? So there are a couple things that to keep in mind, things that I share with other parents that are asking similar questions. Um, it depends on your own personal family risk level. Everybody's family is going to be a little bit different. So you really should make an assessment based on your own comfort level. But the things that we do know is that COVID transmission outdoors, the risk is much, much lower. And um, in Connecticut, we do have a really high vaccination rate among adults um, and other eligible um, 12 to 15 year olds. And uh, we are seeing, you know, prevalence rates going down. So those are all really good signs. Um, I, I think that, you know, if you're in a position where there's a lot of crowds, you might want to wear a mask, bring one with you in case you feel uncomfortable. But in general, I think, out, you know, trick-or-treating outdoors in small groups um, is, is a fun way to celebrate the season. So I know you were talking about the outdoors and obviously we all know by now that that is a safer way to get together. But a lot of times trick or treating leads to Halloween parties. So what about indoor gatherings? Are they OK or do families really need to try to stay outdoors? Um, I would I would personally try to stay outdoors as much as possible. Um, I think that, you know, the thankfully the risk of hospitalization and death for children is much lower. But we do have still um, the disruptions at school that could, you know, really kind of ruin after a Halloween party. Um, and we do know that kids who are unvaccinated can transmit COVID to one another. So I would, I would personally limit those. Or if you are going to do them, you can wear a mask um, in a Halloween party for anybody who's not vaccinated. All right, a lot of good information. We know the kids are excited to get back out there and they can do it safely. Dr. Sophia Penley, thank you so much for being with us. No, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.